<laughs> See, like in the movies. <laughs> like in the blooper reels. What's happening? I don't know, and I don't think any of us really know. We're getting kicked out. Our lease is up. Surprise! From what I understand, uh, we were told no more. It's gonna be a big change. There's no money in the budget for you. We are optimistic, question mark? You're not funny. You're not getting any views. The audience is right. The Redditors are right. Uh, it's not the same. So, it's done. Game over. Uh, I just found out that we have to leave, which is uh, bad news for the uh, family of barn owls I've been nursing back to health under the building. But then, I don't know what happened, but I've heard that a Saudi prince was a big fan of Funhouse and was willing to put up the money to get us into a new office. How soon are we moving? What about Charlie's Owls? We have to move out by the end of the year, but then the building said that they need to get the building back to zero by the end of the year, so we actually have, like, six weeks? That's gonna be tough, because they're not ready to leave the nest yet, but sometimes, sometimes you have to when life calls for it. No, it's cool, I, I, I'm excited and scared. Not ideal. It's gonna be a lot of work, because we have a lot of shit to move. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in that old office. We need to be out of here, and we need to be out of here quick. Well, what's happening is we're being kicked out. Uh, they found out Ryan was living in the building, and uh, so we have to move. I keep telling John Smith that there's trash everywhere. The place is full of trash. You're saying that the entire office is full of trash, but I beg to differ. It is either full of treasure or things that I'm going to sell on eBay. Oh, the warehouse? I think that's gonna be easy. Moving all that stuff, getting rid of it, totally fine. I'm more worried about Ryan Haley's desk. That's where the real trash pile is, and I don't think we're gonna be easily taking care of that. I think we're gonna set most of the trash on fire. Hold on, ready for this? I'm about to hit a go button. I'm mugging for the camera. Only the most important stuff is gonna come with us. It's cool, because I'm someone who doesn't like to sit in the same place for a long time in the same exact setting. I get bored, so I'm, a, I'm excited. I'll be more excited if it's closer to where I live. Ha having been at Funhouse uh, for as long as I have, I'm used to moving. Um, I've We've been in some really bad places and we've been in much better places, I feel like. We just got into a rhythm. It's gonna be a little bit strange to say farewell to it. I've moved quite a bit in my personal life. I mean, I moved to another country. It's a little nerve wracking. So going from a country to a different country is all kind of a bigger deal than switching offices. No offense, Jacob. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I've lived into 16 different places over the past nine years. Uh, so I've done a lot of packing, I have a lot of experience. I tried to bring this expertise to this experience. And what you're supposed to do is not think about it, throw everything into boxes, and then worry about it later. eBay. 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 <laughs> In all of the chaos of kind of getting this move set up, I've definitely noticed that some of my stuff is not where it was. What is this box? You're taking things out of one box and putting it into another box? This was where, this I pillaged uh, the old editor room that's full of a bunch of junk. How much are you gonna get for this? Uh, I don't know, probably seven, eight grand. Specifically, I had a pretty cool Goku statue, a soldier statue from Overwatch, and a lot of things that... I noticed some very similar items showed up on eBay. 
that's not true. I'm not. I haven't sold anything on eBay yet. So I'm wondering what happened there. <laughs> I know John Smith is a cunning investor and has about 13 different side gigs at any point. Uh, so I, I, I believe it. And I honestly think James should probably keep his toys at home. If it was really James' stuff, then why'd he leave it in boxes for no one to see for three years? How about that, James? So John Smith was selling my stuff, apparently, and, um... That stuff's gone for sure. He's never gonna see it again. But that's fine. I've been stealing from John for years. John! Where's our copy of the Achievement Hunter heist game? Where is it, John? John! I found that the best way to do it is to kind of look busy while other people are putting things in boxes. What's up? Is there anything good in there? Is there anything good in there? Yeah, this is for extraction. Okay. Each one of those is meant to go out a single asshole. See, so three people. Back to back, yeah. back. To yeah, but it brings people together. See, look at this. <laughs> Jacob, I see that your box is mostly empty. I'm going to stay here. Jake, you gotta fill your box. You gonna fill my box, Patrick? I'm gonna fill that fucking box. Fill my box. It's empty. It's got room for Patrick. We gotta get some shit in your box. I think change is a bad thing and I don't like it. I'm gonna stay here until they pull me off uh, off of the foundation. I'll be gripping onto the rebar. They can, ta they can tear Arizona's circle out of my cold, dead hands. Uh, unless, you know, unless someone tells me I have to and then I'll, I'll, I'll suck it up. Charlotte, you have to move. Okay. It's time to start loading things up. Start with the most important things first. Like this bobblehead, Martin Tweed, you know? And this other bobblehead of Martin Tweed. And that's... That's about everything from this wall, so. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, Martin. Why are you doing that? Think quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's see. Let's go through this stuff. So, so we're gonna definitely need our. 100. Well, we've we've already Jacob, right? Jacob. We've already built this like three times. They're not, there's not gonna be enough room. No, I, we'll probably be able to get about two more games in there and then set the rest on fire. This is, we never did this. This is gonna be a Game of Thrones expansion. A lot of board as hells. A lot of missed opportunities. Well, that could James still happen. Credit card. That could still happen, right? No, show's done. We just got into a rhythm in some ways in this space, coming back from the pandemic, and that was really good, and we felt really productive, so it's unfortunate to hear that now we're gonna have to upend all of that again, but we've uh, we've made things work with worse. I've never felt stronger or healthier in my life. Um, I have the appetite of a horse, the vitality of a bull, and... <laughs> They're gonna dismantle this entire building. You know all those walls that made our studio nice and pretty? Gone. It's just an empty husk, like me, after we have to move. Well, as you can see, the halls are packed, and this is our last evening here at uh, what has been Funhouse HQ for a really, really, really long time. And so I, before we left, wanted to say goodbye to some of my favorite places with my most memorable memories uh, of all time, of our time being here. So follow me. Rufus! Hi, Rufus! So right here, uh, these doors are actually one of the doors that we walked through our very first time, very first day in the building. We went to lunch and we came back through these double doors right here and uh, we've been robbed. So, cause there were some other people in the building that were working in the building, but then they said it would be fine and they'd beat around. When we came back, they were gone and we were robbed. So that's um, pretty memorable. <laughs> so this is our amazing studio. We filmed so many amazing uh, podcasts, live streams, board game shows and everything like this. And this is uh, where the robbers actually came in and took a bunch of our cameras. And not the first time, but another time we were robbed. So they took a bunch of stuff from right here, they broke in, 
And uh, and then they they wiped us out. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, this one is really near and dear to me, and I promise it's not a robbery. Um, but right here is where a robber tried to break the window to get in to climb in, and they they did shatter it. But I think an alarm went off and it scared them off, so they weren't actually able to get in and take the stuff. But man, so many amazing memories coming back to find that. Yet again, we had almost been robbed. <laughs> Gonna miss this place. Just wait for the moving people to come. Just wanna make sure we don't get robbed before we go. Ha ha! What? what? Leave me be. Let me suffer, please. Never thought I'd come to this, but the old cobwebs off of it. <laughs> yeah. One million subscribers. Well on our way to the diamond plaque. Seeing all our stuff move, stuff that's been rooted to the spot for years and years of my adult life is a, is a bit bittersweet. I'm a dinosaur. I was there when there was nothing there originally. So seeing it go back to that state is pretty surreal after all the modifications and things that we've changed along the way. It seems everything dies. I mean, really my dream list for a new office would include completely updated and refreshed sets. A place that is definitively our own. Just a closer commute. Two hours is a long time. Have you ever been sitting in the middle of your two hour commute and you gotta poop? I think the biggest change I would make is no Patrick. My dream list for a new office. Um, trampolines, ball pits. Obviously above ground swimming pool is at the top. Carpeted hot tub. Like a fire pole. A soda fountain. A wine bar. Water slides, slip and slides. Water slides. Fountain show just like the Bellagio. A lounge area. Eat lunch together. Hang out. <sighs> the dream. <laughs> Walking into the new space, I was surprised at the vast amount of just negative space to occupy. I mean, it's, it's huge, it's massive. This space is too big and I don't want to be here. I want to go back to the old office. I think the new space is perfect. I think it's just what Funhouse needs, a much more corporate atmosphere, a lot less horseplay. I'm reacting to the new space? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, do you need another one? I need some words. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Whoa! <laughs> That's like me reacting to the space. <laughs> I'm actually more optimistic now than I was at the start of all this. I feel like it's gonna work. Hello everyone, and welcome to the future, or should I say, the past. We're doing a lot of temp spaces, a lot of like just kind of setting up in a corner or against a wall. We've set up a space outside our offices with some couches where it's just like cool to hang out. And I've been seeing some people hang out there occasionally. Slowly, we are starting to kind of get everybody situated. It felt like camp um, getting into this space where everyone just kind of claims the bunk. So people immediately started pairing up. I moved in with Lindsay because of girl power. Lindsay, do you want a video of me shaking my salad for the BTS video? No. At some point, I went to Dan and I um, asked him out, basically, to, to, to uh, share an office with me. And I was like, cool, I, like, like Ryan is awesome guy, and I really like hanging out with Ryan, but the minute I kind of sat down in that office with Ryan and started thinking about like the piles of cans and snacks and like 52 water bottles, 
I started to feel, um, I guess, claustrophobic. And he politely declined. Dan probably made a decision that was probably the best decision for him. Me and John Smith, John uh, Squared, uh, John Train, J Train. J and J Connection, maybe uh, Double J Supreme. I was literally just putting the board games away somewhere and I was like, you know what, why don't I put my desk there? Also, it means that John can't steal any of those board games and sell them on eBay. Rick and I, I think, have a, some good office space chemistry and he won't beat me up when I ask him silly questions. I've kind of been planning this thing this whole time where Jacob's kind of a nerd, so I'm trying to get him a little cooler, like teaching him like about race cars, about sports, about basketballs. I need to expunge all of the Star Wars nerd shit that he has in his brain. Patrick also in his own office. I think he was originally sharing a space with Elise, but I think there's some kind of a dispute going on there. She said, share an office. I said, sure, of course. Yeah, I just walked by and it seemed like some heated discussion was going on in there. And then very quickly, she found an empty office. I go from office to office where I feel the wind takes me that particular day, and that's where I work. Elise decided that it made more sense for her to kind of like move away. It's hard to convey, but her office is not with everyone else's. Okay. I'm doing work here. I'm a free spirit. This is my office. This is where I do business. Whenever we ask her about it, she just goes, it's business. Hey, this is business. So you guys are okay right now or is it on the rocks? What can I say about Patrick W. Brown? Uh, this guy, he tests me. We're good friends, we're great friends. Some might even say it's the best of friends, but there are moments where we just don't see eye to eye. Maybe I need to apologize to Patrick. I have lots of big plans for my office personally, you know, I'm gonna be a cool, kind of man cave vibe, you know. Uh, got a lot of big plans, lots of uh, little trinkets I'm gonna be bringing in, um, got a lot of cool decor. I'll give you a tour, if you'd like. Hey, welcome to the, <clears throat> welcome to the, welcome to my office. It's my calendar from 1995 that I made, my wig rack, uh, if, I, if I need that or that. My hat rack, my man cave, my living room, for people, for visitors, oh shit. I'm pretty sure my office is gonna be the one everyone's gonna be wanting to hang out in. It's gonna be the hangout zone. Charlotte and Lindsay, they're the office adjacent to us. There's kind of this cool thing we can do where we can talk to each other through the vents. For a while, I thought I was hearing the voices of angels. I thought that I was receiving messages from on high. Do you have a recipe for shrimp But it was actually just Rick and Jacob next door. The vents are connected, and so they can just yell into the grate. To be honest, the worst part about my office right now is that I fart too much in it all the time, and then I it like I like hotbox myself inside with my farts because it's not very big. This really feels like kind of a fresh start for Funhouse. It feels like pressing the reset button a little bit. I am genuinely excited about the the future of of, of what we are doing here at Funhouse. I'm not excited at all for this year. Psych. So I think when we were starting this whole process, we were thinking new year, new space, um, and also this is a great opportunity for new kind of programming for the channel. Um, the biggest problem we face is burnout. With YouTube, we're constantly rushing to get videos out. Get up, get them out, get them out, get them out. And with a little bit more time, I think all the editors will enjoy just getting to finesse things a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three uploads per week, but we want them to be really, really spectacular. Also the three videos a week is gonna be really nice because it gives us more time to really massage the videos, put it, put our best effort into it because sometimes when you're up against the gun, um, you have to, as we say in industry, kill babies. But we also don't want our audience to miss out on content 
and we think there's a great opportunity to start building more streams. I feel like the streaming stuff is something we've talked about for a long time, about how this is what people want and we should do this more. And so I'm really glad that it's coming to fruition. Yeah, we're doing four hour stream blocks like twice a week. So that's a lot of streaming, but I am pretty excited about it. I'm going to play so many Destiny raids every week, I'm hoping. I haven't quite floated that idea to Omar yet, but I'm thinking every every Tuesday. There's never enough Destiny. <gasps> oh, fuck. You know, I've been thinking a lot. Obviously, there's the, the kind of, um, you know, gambling tips people want from me, people are always asking me about. What else do I got going on? Me and Lindsay are gonna be doing our new podcast uh, in the other room over here. Uh, go watch the new podcast. We also wanna make sure that we uh, are rewarding members. Something that we discovered was that we had people that were already members of our YouTube channel and it seemed like a complete waste of money for them. Can you believe these rubes are already subbing to the channel memberships without any of the incredible benefits we're offering? I can't believe it. I don't understand why they're doing it. We haven't even told them what they get yet. But we already are offering some things to our members. That's right, John Holland. Like, one of the things you can do is you can watch the live stream archive of all of our Tuesday and Thursday live streams moving thus forth. We had an exclusive behind the scenes videos and pictures. Like Charlotte's the whole video. And in our time away, a mysterious hole has appeared in one of the walls. That's right, Funhouse is posting hole. We'll also be doing a monthly open house. It's back. February 4th. I've been working very hard on it on my editing machine. I'd really appreciate it if you would take your time to watch it. Thanks a lot. He pressed a lot of buttons to make it. Yeah, he edits on one of those like... <laughs> the thing I'm most excited about is people have been asking for open house to come back. And that's such like a fan show. We've always found that shows like that create conversation within the community, and so we feel like that's a perfect place to bring back Open House. I think this is going to be the best version of us that we've ever been. I'm really excited. I think this is I think this is a step in a different direction, but I do think that it's necessary. I think Funhouse is a very different place than it was uh, even a few years ago. One of the biggest questions I always see is like, what's the best way to support you guys? Is it to do a YouTube membership or a Rooster Teeth first? And I, my response to that is always, watch, share the content. Thanks for watching, always. I appreciate it. I think we all appreciate it. Who's my favorite person at Funhouse or uh -huh. in general? Yeah, Funhouse. That's a tough one. I guess James doesn't count because he's... In this scenario, James is dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>